What is going on everybody? My name is Nico and welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC Climb video. Today we are going to be using Moxie Boost's Iron Thorns team again because I didn't even really get a chance to use Iron Thorns in the last one and I really want to. Leave a comment below what is your favorite Paradox Pokemon to use. I think Iron Thorns is super interesting and that's why I wanted to use this team. I think it was kind of goofy and fun. So let's get into the battles here. Alrighty. Um, Arcanine and... Um, what's my lead here? Hmm. How can I mimic you? Doesn't seem bad. Um, Sylveon in the back. And honestly, I'm thinking Thorns is my best counter to Gastrodon. Or honestly, I could lead Roaring Moon here. <clears throat> could lead Roaring Moon. And then have Sylveon in the back with Thorns. I think honestly that might be a play. Assuming that they go for, like, the, uh, the uh, Indeedee Armor Rouge lead. I think that might be it. Not their lead. Hmm, is this a Terra Water game? Sylveon and Iron Thorns. I think it might be. Can we just go for Throat Chop into uh, the Ndidi? Go for Will O Wisp on the Titar? Let's see if they go for follow me here. They're also opting to Terra. Really? Didi. Going for the Fairy Terra. Okay. I wonder if this is an offensive Indeedee. No, nope, they go for follow me. Okay. Just a defensive Terra typing. That still did pretty decent damage. We go for Will O Wisp. We go for Rock Slide. This T Tar is going to do significant work. Um, so I think we go for Heat Wave here. And uh, we don't get the stab off Acrobatics, but it still does a lot. Let's go for Heat Wave. I mean, we could Tailwind this turn too. Yeah, I think we need to get Tailwind up before they potentially knock out uh, Roaring Moon. Burn it. Burn it. Yes! Yes! That's huge! 
Oh, we do hold on there. That doesn't put me in sandstorm range, does it? Ah, just barely held on there. Very nice. Um... What else do they have? Okay. Mm, I really don't want Sylveon to take any damage here. So I'm down to just go for like acrobatics here. You go down. And we get single target onto Tyranitar, which still won't do a lot of damage, but you know. We've gotten pretty good chip on it, though, and I'm pretty happy with it. Who didn't miss? Arcanine? Yes. That is the ideal scenario. Um, Sylveon's definitely my bring now. And they already blew their Terra. Which means Sylveon kind of goes nuts. Okay, Armor Rouge comes in. We can go for... How many turns of Psychic Terrain are left? Two? Oh, that's a little bit unfortunate. Um... I think I'm down to go for Snarl and protect this turn. Gosh, of course it's policy. Why wouldn't it be policy? They go for expanding force. Just knock out. Knock out. Yes, okay. I think that honestly might have been the best scenario. Um, just to get Arcanine off the field. They go for Rock Slide. That's fine. They already used Terra, which means I think Thorns actually comes in here and eats. Because they either have to rotate, and what I'm going to do is Rock Blast, or I could Pin Missile, which does more. No, I'm going to Rock Blast into the Armor Rouge, and to cover for the, um, to cover for the Wide Guard, I'm just going to Terra Blast the Tyranitar. I think that's my best case. Because they have to either rotate and lose their buff on Armor Rouge. And we have loaded dice, so that just goes down. Perfect. So they didn't wide guard, which is ideal. Um, it does suck that we didn't get our Hyper Voice up, but um, it, it is okay. We do Terra Blast, that turns into a Fairy because it's a normal type in Pixelate, so that's super effective, and that goes down. Thorns finally gets to see the field. I've done a handful of battles with this team, and Thorns finally gets to eat. Who comes in here? Gastrodon. Okay, that, that is a potential problem. Um... 
I mean, I think we just go for Pin Missile here and Hyper Voice up. Or, honestly, what we do... Pin Missile and Yawn. That actually... Oh, it was a crit. I was going to say, that actually did a decent amount. It's still not doing terrible shit. That actually did really good damage. It's buried. Unfortunate. I don't think we take an earth power from it. We yawn. Yeah, no. Now we hyper voice. We activate our throat spray. I'd imagine they just re Okay, we crit. <laughs> what a way to end that battle. I thought it was going to come down to sleep turns. <laughs> Skeledurge, huh? You love to see it. Um I don't hate Arcanine lead. Arcanine, ah, uh, less King Gambit comes, um, Arcanine doesn't feel terrible. I think Thorns does come here, but it, we're going to have to be very careful. Honestly, this might be better. That might be better just to set Trick Room. Depending on their lead, we may want to set Trick Room. unfortunately they did opt to bring the king gambit in the front I think we just go for Trick Room. They did check me. They did check me. I don't think it's lost. They withdraw it? Hello? Okay, I guess they were expecting the burn. Electric terrain, huh? giving yourself your quark drive boost weird that's a really weird idea still have I'm, I'm okay with that honestly there are a lot worse things that could have happened we get a snarl off here for sure okay skeletor juices protect not what we're too worried about here oh they double protect okay wish i would have swapped that turn
Yeah, I think I'm going to swap. Get Sylveon in. Yeah, I had a feeling they'd be swapping again. They're going to swap in King Gambit. They're going to proc their own Defiant again. And it misses. Perfect. This turn, I mean, we are blowing through our uh, Trick Room. Truthfully. But I'm down to protect and just see what happens. Because I could see a Terra coming out of the King Gambit here. No, no Terra. Okay. Skeletridge comes back. We go for Cleave. That's tough. We do hold on. And we connect. We should do little to no damage. That's got to be an AV. All right, um. I'm down to go for Terra Blast here. I have a hard time believing this is going to do enough damage, but. This has become a very interesting battle. You go for Iron Head, perfect. That still did so much damage. You go for Shadow Ball, perfect. I don't think this is going to be enough because I think that's AV. Ah, it's so close. And there are leftovers on their Skeletor, which is interesting. On the bright side, we are now faster with both our Pokemon. I think we have to protect. Yes, we had to read that. That was a good call. Don't miss King Gambit. Okay, that's totally fine. We don't care about missing King Gambit. Well, we don't care about missing Skeletor. We wanted to hit King Gambit. That was our only target. And they go for Shadow Ball. That's actually okay, because I don't think we really need Arcanine. Uh, we can bring in Mimikyu here. What is potentially their last Pokemon?
I think they pretty much have to go for Mimikyu if they don't want another Trick Room setup. So what I can do is rotate in Thorns. We do get our Quirk Drive activated, so that's kind of neat. Skeletridge protects. They go for Hydro Pump, huh? We should have gone for Trick Room. <laughs> what in the world? Alright, this turn we have to get rid of Bundle, and we need to set Trick Room. It's our only win con. This battle is so weird. Like the electric terrain bundle and then like attacking into Sylveon instead of trying to prevent another trick room. It was so bizarre. So bizarre. They're going for Terra. On Skeledurge? Terra Grass, that's fine. I don't care if you're Terra Grass. They go for Icy Wind. Disguise goes down. Come on, survive this hit. Survive this hit. Yes! Bundle goes down here. And we get Trick Room back up. Okay. We lose our Quirk Drive, which is a bit unfortunate. Iron Valiant comes in. I think we need to double that slot. Skeledurge protects. That's about what I expected. They just keep doing that with Skeledurge. Oh, and they double protect. Okay. I didn't see a booster energy go off on it. That's why I'm, I'm thinking we have to double that slot because it's probably sashed. Question is, is that Skeletor slower? If that Skeletor is slower, we're in trouble. No, we're not, we're actually very slow. I couldn't remember the exact spread on that Mimikyu, but we are slower than the Skeletor. That's gotta be. That's gotta have some speed investment. A Torch Song into who? Okay, Mimikyu goes down. Perfect. That's not the one I need. Okay. Is that all that happens on ladder now? Is people just disconnect? Alright. Uh, this is Wolfie's team. This is Wolfie's team. So...
I think this is my brain. I'm thinking. I think this yeah, I think this is my brain. Going against Wolf's Parish Song team. This is a tough team. Tough team. Let's see if they can play it as well as Wolf is the thing. Greentail and Goth Tell come. As to be expected. Alright, so we protect turn one and we put their Gothitelle on a timer. Psychic, they break my disguise. Got the tells now on a timer. We Terra and we throat chop, and now we go into Sylveon and we start rolling. I mean, that was smart on their part to break that turn one. Gothitelle goes out. That's fine. Arcanine comes in. I'm also okay with this. Just in case they go for any more play rough shenanigans. Yep, they do. We throat chop, so they can't perish song now. We go for a protect, and we set up our hyper voice here. We start getting chip. Greentail goes out. Moongus comes in. They go for Will O Wisp, as to be expected. We go for Hyper Voice. We get our Throat Spray proc. Very nice. We acrobatics and we hyper voice again. I'm down to take a burn at this point if we can get a Moongus off the field. There's no shot that Terra Darky, right? What are you doing? You just made yourself weak to. What? Okay, a Moongus goes down this turn. Acrobatics comes out. This will still do a good chunk. Like, I don't know what the point of that was. And you made yourself weak to Hyper Voice. Willowis missed. 
Literally best turn possible. Amukas goes down. Let Sylveon eat. Let it eat. Let it eat. Grimtail comes back. We throw chop Arcanine and we hyper voice. Just in case they rotate Goth to tell back in. And they give us the battle. Okay. Okie dokie. I mean, I think they, they gave up a little prematurely there, but I mean they had good chip on both Roaring Moon as well as on Mimikyu. Like and they broke my disguise on Mimikyu. I think they had a shot there. But that is going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you found it entertaining. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. I post daily competitive Pokemon content. If you want to join a fun community where people are always hanging out playing Pokemon, check out the Discord. If you want to see more from me, check out the first video where I took this team to the ladder. Really fun time. Really enjoy using this particular team. Again, all the team information is linked in the description below. You can check it out. And also check out this other video where I talk about how to use Tyranitar in Series 2 because I think it's a really, really good Pokemon. But... Until next time, peace.